From Hollywood, it's the fifth annual Nanny of the Year Awards. Please welcome the only host we could afford, Mr. Ted Balaker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good evening. We may think we know what's best for us, but do we really? Tonight, Reason TV pays tribute to those who devote their lives to telling us how to run ours. And we begin with the Lifetime Achievement Award presented to the Meryl Streep of nannies. Here we look back at the many ways the recently termed out Mayor Michael Bloomberg minded New Yorkers business. In this video montage video, hold on. How long is this gonna take? It's like 97 minutes. 97 minutes? Tribute. No, just cut it, cut it. And the nominees for Nanny of the Year are Mitch Greenlick. The Oregon State Rep introduced a bill that would expand the drug war by categorizing cigarettes as a Schedule III controlled substance on par with LSD. You'd need a prescription to buy smokes, and violators could face up to a year behind bars. <laughs> Mr. Greenlick couldn't be with us tonight due to a prior engagement. Halle Berry. The actress and humanitarian championed a new California law that could jail photographers for up to a year if they snap shots of celebrities' children without consent. The law also extends special protection to the children of politicians. <laughs> Louise Fletcher. <laughs> Anthony Colavita. Not satisfied with banning traditional fast food restaurants, the Eastchester, New York supervisor decided to shield residents from so-called fast casual restaurants like Panera Bread and Chipotle? <laughs> Mr. Colavita couldn't be with us tonight due to a prior engagement. And the nanny goes to... Anthony... Halle Berry! This is Halle Berry's first nomination and award. Hold it, stop! Sit down, Halle, I'm sorry. Sit down, sit down! We're gonna give the nanny to that Chipotle banning freak. Run the tape. They can travel to White Plains, Mount Vernon, Yonkers, or New Rochelle to get their fix of fast food. Thanks for watching, everybody. You know, make sure to follow the show on Twitter. Tell us about the people who make it their business to mind your business. Thanks for watching, everybody. I love you. Good night. East Chester um, is a very upscale community. Are any of the other municipalities saying, you know what, you know, who do you guys think you are? Seriously. Oh, sure, of course, people would think that, but we are East Chester, and that's us, and we're not going to change, and we're like the way we are. I like that, taking a stand. Oh, yeah.